Sorry, I'm just watching. And obsessively holding on to the L1 button because I don't know whether it'll drop me if I let it go. I'm guessing it wouldn't. But who knows? <laughs> At least she's being upfront about it. Okay, they they really want me to remember about that mechanic. I'm guessing that's going to come up and Oh, okay. No. You have to hit it with the hammer. I suppose that should have been the first thing I tried. This is like our motto, right? Hit it with the wrench. Yeah. I mean, but the one thing, I, the, so going back, the one thing I will say about the economy is that the rare titanium economy was great. I never found myself longing for rare titanium or not able to get the upgrades that I wanted. Like, being able to upgrade my weapons, I thought, perfect, like, really balanced. Like, everything sort of fit in on that front. Uh, and like I said, I just wish I could have bought more weapons on my first playthrough. Yeah, I, uh, the rare titanium upgrade system is my favorite. Like, I'm so weak to it. It's like heist movies, you know? Like, I have no defense against those. They're, they're just, I love them. Uh, whereas, it's the same thing with the... That, that hex upgrade system is just, mm, oh, it's just d lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the, like, the, the circling the different sort of upgrades to, uh, to purchase, like, to get specific, like, things like increased ammo capacity or increased kind of stuff. That was, that was really awesome. Um, I thought the rare titanium upgrade system was super good, super solid. Oh, you have the black hole rifle that you're not using. That gun is great. I do? Yeah, the black hole storm. Oh. That gun is awesome. I love this gun. Ah. Uh, what's it for? Uh, it's just a, it's just like a very high power blaster. It's like, is it, so you, you gotta charge it up, so you gotta hold, and then it just, just goes crazy. Oh, cool. Alright. Yeah. It's like a chain gun. Yeah, this, this gun is great. I had, a, I had a lot of fun with that one. That thing I did, though, where I couldn't tell that I was supposed to hold the button down, that was always such a huge thing in Ratchet. Which way did I come from? Okay. I'm going to go any other direction. Uh, I can't access the console yet. So there's more enemies. I don't see any. The combat music's still playing, though. Well, those crates. Um, yeah, we like uh, uh, even as far back as the pyrocitor, it was really hard to get people to realize when I had to hold a weapon. Way. What? I think you do actually want to go that way. Do I? Oh, what do you know? <laughs> Wasn't sure you'd actually make it. Don't thank us yet. We need to power down these cells, <sighs> which means a visit to the warden's office. <laughs> about the disturbance in processing? I was informed it may have been uh, a love bag. How exciting! Another to add to the Emperor's Prize collection of dissenters. We uh, must celebrate after our shift by volunteering to work more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, they be planning a jailbreak. We can help. I like seeing all of these prisoners of people that I met oh, and hey or helped. There, Rivet. Don't you worry about us. We got a plan to get us out of here. What? How did you Oh, got caught out a couple days ago. That's what we get for breaking curfew, eh? <laughs> Should have just lied and said a song was good. Curse my respect to the art. <laughs> he threw his own assistant in jail because he wasn't laughing at his jokes. Oh, amazing.
Yeah, we. That's why in the anyway in the first Ratchet game we had uh, uh, help desk messages specifically for if you try if you tried to use the pyrocitor a couple times and nothing happened, you have to hold down the button. Well, the, the black hole storm is an interesting one because it has the warm up time. So like the thing about the pyrocitor was you would if you tap the button. It at least threw out that initial spurt, so you knew that the button was doing something. Mm -hmm. The Black Hole Storm is interesting, because I, I, I don't think we've ever done something like that in a Ratchet game. That It doesn't do anything when you first push, push the button down. Uh, it does play like a, a winding up thing in yeah, a yeah, controller yeah. That, I can't, that I can feel. So I know it's doing something. It's not like there's no feedback. Right, but it doesn't have like the burst right when you, like I think most other weapons, you push the button, something happens. Yeah. Like but, like, I mean, that was usually a, a rule, yeah. yeah. Even the pyrocitor would go, you know. Well, that was kind of a gross noise. I'll replace it with an explosion. But yeah, the warm-up is, uh, it's unique. I don't think I've <laughs> seen a ratchet weapon do that. <laughs> Just a random amoeboid in prison, because why not? Okay, so he just threw everyone in jail. Okay, there's crates. I want the crates. Need my ammo. Okay. Loading platform. More crates. Bring it. I'm glad that the ammo crates glow. Uh that is that is an improvement, I think, because uh the you know, we didn't have really sharp changes in lighting like this sure on the PS2. There. What? There, uh, the Zircon was back there. Oh, okay, perfect. We didn't have really strong changes in lighting, so I'm, it probably wasn't as... Uh, but, like, you know, I can think of a point, like, in Ratchet 2 or 3, where, like, there was a ladder we needed you to go on that you couldn't see because it was too dark, so mm -hmm. we just had to turn lighting off. Like, it's... All right, let's see. I'm not going to use those. I will use those. So if you want another... Oh, I was about to say, if you want another fire and forget weapon, the Bombardier uh, was another fire and forget weapon. Oh, is weapon. it? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll get that next. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of raritanium. Jeez. Yeah, they they really uh, load you up with raritanium on this last level. All right. So one thing I didn't notice um, until actually going through, if you look at the, so back out of this really quick, uh -huh. the hexes look like the weapon. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. It's, I didn't notice it until I was actually like buying all the upgrades for all the weapons in the new game plus. But uh, the full hex patterns actually look like the weapon. I was Which like, is... oh, that's pretty cool. That's, yeah, that's, that's pretty smart. That's a nice touch. It's not easy to do either. Uh, so it's, it's cool that they did it. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's just round out the warmonger. Uh, what about, uh, Globe of Doom? Nope. Oh, that, yep, there's... Yeah, it's the Agent of Doom. All right, let's... So did you have any other uh, uh, insights you wanted to share? Uh, I mean, that's my. I think those are some of my major, major thoughts on the game. Uh, I don't know if you have anything else you want to add on sort of what you've seen. Any other sort of comments, criticisms on uh, on your general playthrough? I really enjoyed uh, the mining level uh, where you were uh, in the desert using the skates and finding all the lorbs and stuff. I really, really liked that part. Uh, and that's unusual for me because the, the open, the more open ratchet parts, I usually don't like, mm -hmm. um, they usually feel a sort of like, um, uh, grocery list sort of thing. Right. Uh, there've been a few games where I've really liked it. And those are usually the ones where they let you go fast and they do, uh, you know, some, something like, uh, uh, what they were doing here. 
Yeah. Uh, that actually that gives me an idea of things that we can we can talk about. Uh, one of the things that uh, so ha now that I think we're mostly done with them at this point. Where do you feel the Clank gameplay ranks on the long list of Clank gameplay uh, experiments? Okay, well, uh, I think it's better than uh, what we did in Ratchet 2. Ratchet 2 was the gadget bots, the right? Legit, that's it, where we introduced the gadget bots? No, it was like, that's when we introduced the lifter bot and the, uh, uh, you know, like we had the right, bridge right, bot right, right. and all yeah. that. Uh, I didn't think those were as successful. Uh-huh. Um, I really liked the ones that were from uh, Crack in Time. Yeah, these feel a little bit more like the Crack in Time sort of ones, where they were just like um, puzzles you have to solve rather than like a series of small tasks. Yeah, and I pref I preferred that. Uh, let's see, what else was there? There was the the stuff with the Zony, I think. In why do I keep coming in here? Uh, the stuff with the Zony in Ratchet. Uh, Future, uh, Tools of Destruction, that one. Uh, and those were fine. I, so I think maybe... And then Secret Agent Clank, I guess, which I worked on. So, uh, oh, it is, it's cool. Yeah. She shoots lasers. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, I, I, I think I would place it somewhere, somewhere up there with uh, uh, the one I made, obviously. Uh, and then uh, the crack in time and this one. Okay. So those three would all be sort of equally at the top, let's say. Then I don't have to rate my own contribution. Where am I going? Oh, there. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I think I would agree with you. I, I that's kind of where I would uh, I would put it. I think it's definitely been one of the more successful Clank gameplay experiments. Um, there were still things I would probably change about it, uh, but that's usually the case with every game I play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think they they I I think. By the end of it, I was like, okay, they've kind of taken this as far as they can go, and then that was the end. Like, I, they did it, it didn't, didn't overstay its welcome. Uh, every, everyone built on the last one, and they were, at no point did it start feeling like, okay, I'm, we can, we can stop with these. Like, that, that never. Emergency shutdown initiated. <laughs> So did we release everybody from the prison? Yeah. So this is probably, if you want to have a stopping point, this is probably the point to break. Okay. Then, uh, Rerouting power to the VIP section. Ratchet's in a VIP cell, isn't he? Uh, yes. You are a fool for underestimating me. Witness my power. Oops. Okay, so uh, I guess we'll 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 put a pin in that one. Yeah, I think well, I think we're about to get into a more. Uh, I guess we'll finish up this fight and then maybe we can uh, yeah we can call it done and come back for the second half of this level. Attention, riot in progress. Reinforcement capacity at fifty-six percent and weekly. What? 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 <laughs> So who is this talking? The Emperor's assistant? Is this the robot? Yeah. Okay. Everything in the kitchen sink. Yeah, this 
this second half is uh, intense. Oh, that's All right. Oh, that was clever. I would never have noticed that uh, rift there if they hadn't put an enemy. Mm. Because, like, it came in later. So I, in my head, thought, oh, that area is completely out of bounds. So they put an enemy there to draw my attention. That was very clever. Uh, okay, so we're in a good stopping point. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll continue on with this level next time. Uh, for develop definitely not developer commentary, my name is Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we'll catch you next time.